Yeah, Ireland was, um, I went there a few years ago, uh, been there three or four times in the last five years. Yeah, strange place. You don't really have to try too hard to, um, to have a good time. Even though some of the circumstances that I was there wasn't so good, but that's another story. But anyway, I was coming back from um, County Clare, well, the west coast, like uh, Kilkee, and um, hitching, you know, through to um, to get the ferry from Roscoff. What was the place called in uh, Ireland? Anyway, the ferry port there. Anyway, I was wasn't making very good ground. I was kind of. Um, it was late February, March time, 1998, or before actually, sorry, it was like 95, 94, 95, I think, um, and I just uh, got lifted into the town of Tipperary, County Tipperary, and it was like, Coming up to that time, about five o'clock, uh, six o'clock, when it was just the light was fading, I was thinking, oh, shit. I'm definitely not going um, to. Well, the ferry, you know, left would leave at ten o'clock that night, so you know, and I was a good three hours away um, from the ferry. You know, drive two hours, whatever it was. And it was six o'clock. Ferry went at ten. So it was six o'clock, it was getting dark and I was like, the light was fading. I was just walked out to the outskirts of uh, Tipperary and uh, thinking, oh, you know, in my head, like, you know, cursing and swearing, just all the sort of usual on the road sort of inner dilemmas in your head. I can remember it well. And uh, anyway, there's, um, I noticed this small Irish woman, um, old lady, uh, walking towards me and uh, as she got close she looked at me and said, well you want to put your prayers to St Anthony, you know, I was just telling her to go there earlier, you know, <laughs> and all this stuff. And basically she said, um, earlier that day she'd um, told the same thing to some girl who was hitching and uh, within minutes uh, she got a lift and anyway she just... I said that as she was passing, it didn't stop or anything, you know. Oh, put your prayers to St. Anthony, here get your lift. And because um, my head was so like all over the place, I couldn't really um, bring myself to sort of say a prayer. But anyway, I I tried, <laughs> endeavoured. Um, in my head, you know, saying a sort of really bad prayer to St. Anthony. And I tell you, this is the God's honest truth. As I, it was. I watched uh, sort of the woman kind of, you know, turn off and fade out of view and stuff and um, I thought, oh, I better try this uh, prayer. And it was kind of close me. I was trying to sort of still the sort of inner demons, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I sang this really bad prayer and um, I still can't believe it because it's, you know, out of Tipperary, it's a long road, you can look kind of straight going into the town so you can see or hear any cars coming a mile off and uh, so as I was saying this prayer I didn't even see this like arctic truck didn't even hear it and I still can't work out to this day how it all happened because I was still saying the prayer as I was like just this blur of this massive great big um, arctic just pulling up and I was still saying the prayer as I was getting into the seat climbing up into this like truck amazing that's what kind of that's how our island works you know it really does and you know faith can move mountains and uh, so I'm in the truck and you know the guy the Irish guy um, was going exactly where I was going he was going to the port so it was just one left all the way there and I got there for nine o'clock no problem said goodbye to him and just, you know, I was a foot passenger and I was away. Amazing. There are many more stories.
stories in a similar vein in other parts of the world, and, uh, which I will get to sometime. It's a bleak day, moody sky, Sunday. I should uh, think less, maybe I will know more. Oh, maybe no more if I think less. You know. Who knows?